Hello everyone, this is Lewat. So today we have a new boss for the ordeal, Dibendi and Yuria. This one, Dimendi, immune to normal attacks, need heals, and we need to use goddess to parry. So this demon D, right, he has a shield which ignore all kind of damage. When we heal ourselves, that's the only way to attack. So it is based on our amount of healing. You heal 50,000, you deal damage 50,000. And it could crit. But later on, fortification, boss crit resistance increase which will make it hard to deal critical damage, critical hit. It's like 70% critical resistance. Then later, corruption, hero receive less heal. This one also my main concern. This reduce the healing by 90%, a really huge disadvantage. But we'll try to find the team later. But for now, we will be using three healer team. So Yuria, this one, demon type Y2, we cannot deal damage to her. She only dies if the demon D dies. So we need a lot of healing. Now for the free option team, we can use Yeo. Your Wudong, and then Arya, and then Vernil. Where are you? So this one we have your Wudong using three chain to generate one block for the entire trim and increase the amount of healing. So this is also mean we increase the damage. You would also increase the entire team by 40% evasion and the critical chance. This should be useful. And then for the Vernil, she will create like a shield or a tank. So we use ally tree chain and then use a block for the shield. As for Arya, her heals the entire team by 35%, 45%, 65% of her maximum HP. The rest doesn't really matter. Except the damage received by enemies increased by 50%. So for this one, we'll be using Endel. Because the enemy will receive 40% increased damage. And as well for the skill is the bond level level 50. For the goddess, we'll be using Silonis because increase the stats 20%. So they will have higher critical chance, higher HP, higher attack power for more healing. As for the build, because we are anticipating for the corruption, heroes receive less healing. So the damage reduction will be much much needed. So for this one, we'll be using damage reduction. This one for the CJ, you can use the HP damage reduction both. For this one, I'm currently using for the SP, gener generate 10 SP every 2 seconds. For the ring, doesn't matter. You can use resurrection ring or damage reduction ring. As for the Vernil, also same, damage reduction, damage reduction, for the CG only HP, because the shield is scaled with her HP. Absorb damage up to 300% of the hero HP. This one is temporary, because I want to try if we can get enough critical chance, maybe we can clear faster. And since Arya heal is based on a HP, so we'll be using HP Shijil. 
As for the scale, your wudong for now using the energy of goddess for more blocks. Vernil for the smile of the goddess for the unremover 50% damage reduction. And then Arya be using Century of the Goddess. Because this skill, it heal 5% of the max HP. The caster creates a Century for 5 seconds that continually heal allies by 100% of the caster attack power. Allies under the effect of this century recover an additional 5% of their maximum HP when healed by another skill. So this also will increase the damage dealt to the boss. So now for the demo, your Wudong Arya Vanille. When we enter the stage, we will have another companion, the relic. We need to keep it safe. If it dies, we fail. Here we can use two goddess before we enter the parry. But before we reach the parry, there is another poison mist. If we get hit during that moment, we will get our healing block for 5 seconds. We cannot block it, remove it, cancel it. So that's where the tank works. Here is the parry. So we need a lot of healing. The Goddess Parry is around 30 seconds. The Poison Mist is around 20 seconds. As you can see, we deal nothing damage. No damage. We just need all the heal. So if you want to use like a tank, Joanne, example. During that poison mist, we could get our healing block. So expect the tank to die often. Resurrection will be, will be very important. So let's say we are using the Yewodong with the energy of the goddess. And then we have Hala the resurrection Joanne probably will die a lot but this way we can save the relic When you see the boss start to jump high and with the sparks, it's time to parry. As you can see, this is quite slow. We don't have enough healing.
So this time is already take 1 minute 40 second. We don't really get enough of healing. If you have the premium heroes to get the most healing, the candidate will be Linne because she increased the amount of healing. Uh, let's see. Upon summoning Arbor Pitae, the Floss Perpetus will bloom to increase the heal received by allies within linear range by 60% for 6 seconds. Maximum 4 stacks. So this is 240%. Then next we have the Coronet. Coronet heals the entire team. Uh, oh yeah, this one. During terminal activation, Coronet heals the entire team by 700 per attack power per second. So try to use an attack power with some HP and for damage reduction to survive on higher stage later. Same for the Hala as for the Line. Then next is the Bari. Bari summon a field of flower that heal nearby allies 40 times. She doesn't heal, heal a lot by amount, but she heal a lot by account. So this one we will be relying on the Century of the Goddess because each time healing we get 5% of the maximum HP. So if you want to combine all of them, this could kill fast. But it can be risky because we have nothing to tank for the relic. As you can see, the HP drop down fast. Another candidate that heal a lot is Chai. So we usually use Chai and Kaide. I recommend to use the energy of goddess for chai for enough block gen later the build is damage reduction damage reduction she you can use you can use the hp damage reduction or use the generate 10 sp same with kd you can use the damage reduction or use the evasion for now with the hp damage reduction sigil for the skill resurrection then for the third one, we'll be using a tank so the relic can survive. You can like use like Joanne, Alexander, or this Kenius. For this one, I'm still using the Colosseum build, but the skill changed to Light of Grace for the extra heal. So we use Chai as leader and three chain her. This time we'll be relying on the resurrection to keep Kain alive. With Chai Kaide, we get a lot of uh, SP skill. So 
what is it for now? For this boss. And don't forget about the summer fest code coupon code. It's already out. It's the all Hasla hero ticket. You can pick anyone, except the collaboration, the alchemy heroes, and the Francesca and Frederick. To do it, you go to this account. Here is coupon CQ twenty one fest. Okay. Bye-bye.